Dean, ladies and gentlemen, Juan Romero here from Switch Watch, and welcome to our Nintendo Switch video where we share seven reasons why we think you will enjoy Fort Triumph on the Nintendo Switch. A quick overview before we begin, Fort Triumph is a turn-based tactics game featuring physics-based combat set in a whimsical fantasy world with a plot which is a witty parody of fantasy tropes. Let's get into it and start with our first reason. My number one reason is that I can play this game in local co-op or PvP with up to eight players. While playing turn-based tactics games like this against AI is good, there's nothing like taking on a bunch of friends and having them as your enemies or cooperating with them for the day, trying to strategize your way to victory. I definitely think PvP is my favorite though, taking down your friends' bases and you can always incentivize the day as well with winning a crate of beer or some cash at the end of it. Fort Triumph utilizes physics-based combat and it's nice to see that you can utilize the environment to your advantage, such as smashing a boulder towards your foe, breaking down pillars as so they fall on top of your enemy, or even using some structures to your advantage bashing parts of a wall down, for example, on top of your enemy is always fun. It gives a player a different approach every time, and seeing as the maps are procedural, no two games are ever the same. Who doesn't love building a base and expanding it? Here you get to do that. And I always loved building bases from my days playing Command & Conquer when I was a young teenager. And here it's no different. You get to build your base, gather resources, making sure you improve its defenses and defending yourself from the incoming sieges. Very fun indeed. Within Fort Triumph, there are four factions and four heroes to choose from, each having their own strengths and weaknesses. With the factions, you can choose humans, goblins, trolls, or the undead. The undead being my favorite. They're obsessed with hygiene, funnily enough, but they also love to consume humans. Humans, of course, like the cash. Goblins are just plain evil, and trolls like to smash stuff up, all very useful in their own way. In terms of classes, you can go for a Barbarian, great with melee, Mage, Ranger, or Paladin. So something here to suit everybody's playstyle. In Fort Triumph, there are a couple of modes that you can choose from, and I'm glad Skirmish Mode has made it into this game. You can play campaign, of course, and in campaign, you get to earn some cash on your grand adventure. You can disable or enable permadeath, which is a great option, and adjust the difficulty level, which is also good, dependent on your skill level. Now, skirmish mode allows you to play against AI or friends in local co-op. You choose a faction, you can make it random and play on a procedurally generated map and see who wins. In my view, it's very nice to have these options. And the great thing about your heroes is you can grow your heroes. The more you get into the game, the further you get, the more resources you collect and skills you acquire. You can then mix and match traits and cross-class skills, making each playthrough and character that you play on each run very unique indeed. And that keeps it from getting stale, which is one of the parts of this game that I really did enjoy. Lastly, the in-game music here is excellent, with renowned composer Marco Valerio Antonini creating all of the in-game music. I'm going to let it play for a little bit here so you can check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed today's seven reasons why we think you'll enjoy Fort Triumph. It really is a nice little game. We want to thank our sponsors of this video, All In Games. We wouldn't put our name behind something unless it was decent. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so we can notify you when our next video goes live. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one, which should be very, very soon indeed.